I'm so excited to start my day with you today. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Uh, you're having a great year, actually. You're not just good. You're absolutely fabulous. Let's Thank just you. say that, right? How are you enjoying the ride so far? It's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great to be in Montreal, too. Yeah. I love it here. Mm -hmm. um, I came to this festival as a kid. Yeah. You have? Excited. Yeah. I saw Eminem here. That was a big year. Okay. And now you're performing time. at Oceaga. Yes. Okay, so you are an Ottawa native. I am. Would come to Montreal frequently to see Oceaga. Mm -hmm. And now years later, you are one of the main acts performing at Oceaga. There you go. You oh my it. goodness, did you manifest this? Maybe in my dreams. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not intentionally. I mean, I always hope for it. Yeah, yeah. I always want to get booked here. Um, and I missed it for a couple of years. And then uh, this year was the year. So what, why was this song the one that you chose to release? Because I know, you, like you said, you've been, you've been at this for a while, just writing music and making mm -hmm. music. Why was Runaway to Mars the song that really put you on the map and started it off for you? I think it was, uh, it was the right song at the right time. Mm -hmm. And I got lucky and people resonated with what I had to say. And uh, yeah, it's just the right place, right time. Yeah, you talk about being here in Montreal. So obviously you are no stranger to the French language. Correct. Uh, do we have any favorite French words that you like to use? Uh, a lot of them are not fully appropriate. <laughs> uh, I love to swear in French, it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, French words, French words. Um, pantoufle is a good one, that's slippers. Slippers. Um, Man, I don't know okay. everything. I, I I like French. I do. I usually do my shows in French in Quebec. Yeah. Um, today it's going to be a little different. I think it's mostly English today. Yes. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So you've been traveling now because you've been on this like journey, and it's mm -hmm. so successful for you. What do you take from home that you bring with you to festivals? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I've like I've like the really expensive Theragun. You know, oh. like the really like top of the line one use that a lot bring that everywhere um, I'm like an iPad kid so I have I always have my iPad with me just keep myself busy um, uh, and there's this there's this lip balm Sandy can I can I have my lip balm can I have my lip <laughs> she's balm like why do you want purse? your lip balm I'll show it this to is you, gonna be an endorsement I love yeah, it yeah exactly <laughs> I need that I need that good free you need that good free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and trying to get endorsements. <laughs> yeah, and you're also going to be now. I want to get an endorsement. Work it, work it, work yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah, also an you. influencer <laughs> now too. I love free I right now. It's and called it, Carmex. And Carmex. It's, it's the best shit that's out there. Best stuff that's out there. Sorry. But why is it the um, best? I don't know. It just feels nice. It's like you've got soft lips, is what you're trying to tell yeah, us. I do. <laughs> I got great lips. And good teeth too. Thank you. My goodness. Very sweet. Yes, Thank you. nice okay, teeth. Coming from someone who didn't have very good teeth growing up, because my. You got lucky you didn't do yeah. anything to no, them? I didn't get braces. Okay, no, then no I'm... Bad. So you're talented, you have nice teeth, and you have soft lips. I mean, come on. What, what more can you ask for? <laughs> what more, nothing. right? No, no, Literally no. nothing. Oh, no. Like, you are on such a high right now, and mm -hmm. I'm like, we're so happy for you. Because I know the beat's been with you since the very beginning. Since the start. Since the start, and we're so happy for you. We want to know now, like, what's next? What are you writing next about? That's a great question. Um, I just came back from Nashville. I was there for great two city. weeks. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it there. I mean... Um, the people are great, the city's great, um, music's great, and wrote with a lot of great people and a lot of friends, and I'm excited. Yeah. I think, I think I'm really excited. We were on the road for a long time, it was like 18 months, and we were playing all the time, and so getting to create was very sparse, that there wasn't a lot of time for it, and uh, now it's coming back around to being time to create again, and I'm excited. Now, I know this is a really long question and we have one minute, so I'm wondering if you can recap your entire life in one minute, but how does a guy from Ottawa, mm -hmm. all right, Canada, mm -hmm. become so huge and at your level right now? I know it took a lot of work, but yeah. what was it? What is it? And like, what's the advice that you can give for talent out there that's trying to make um, it like you? Good question. I, I, dream, I try to dream really big all the time and um, yeah, I dreamed of going to the Genos like a decade ago. Yeah. and all the time just try to stay focused and work at the craft and writing songs and I would come home from work every day I was working at a cell phone store and I would come home every day and I would, I would write a song every single night after work and like produce it and record it and, um, and I did that for like two years and then eventually started getting better and I started improving and and when you when you make great songs they always find a way of shining through and yeah just worked hard and just kept focused Hard work pays off and soft lips. 
Soft Lips. There you go. You heard it here first. That's the next. That's your next title for your next song. Soft Lips. Soft Lips.